Hey guys, I'm back. And we've been talking about animals and this is the best part of the end of school is talking about our animals. I'm so sad that you're not here to be in our centers. But we're gonna talk about them and have some fun at the same time. Okay, so the first two groups of animals we've already talked about, let's review. We talked about reptiles and how they have dry scaly skin and they lay eggs. And they don't really need their mommies after they're born. They can really live on their own, most reptiles. But they have, some have shells, like a turtle, or some have uh, scales, like a snake, or hard skin, like a alligator, or a crocodile. He's a reptile. And here's an iguana, a kind of lizard. Lizards are reptiles. So that was the first group we talked about. All right, and they are cold-blooded. I mean, yeah, because they have to warm up in the sun. They can't move very fast when it's cold. They need warm weather. Um, then we had the mammals. They have hair or fur. They drink their mother's milk, and they're born live. They don't come from an egg. There is one mammal that comes from an egg, which is a duckbill platypus. But m the majority of mammals are born live and they need their mother's milk after they're born. And we talked about the mammal, the only one that flies. That's right, a bat. And we talked about the kangaroo is a marsupial. He has a pouch and the baby grows up in the pouch before he can come out. Okay, so we talked about mammals. Elephants, dogs, bats, those are all mammals. Kangaroos, skunks, okay. Now we're gonna move on to two more kinds of animals today. First one we're gonna talk about is called, ooh, it's a big word too, so I'm gonna show you. Amphibians. Wow, these types of animals, amphibians, live near water because they come from the water, usually when they're born. Like the frog. We talked about the life cycle of frog and how he grows up under the water and his lungs begin to grow and then he lives on the land. Okay, but he's called an amphibian. And they like to have slimy skin because they live near the water. Now this one, Cassillian. Oh, it looks like a snake, doesn't it? He's not. He comes from he does like to live in the soil and all, but he is a amphibian. He's not a snake. He's a cassillian. All right, and here's a blue dart frog. Look how interesting he is. You know why he's blue? Because it tells other animals, you don't want to eat me because I'm poisonous and I will make you sick. And so they stay away from him. That's his way of defending himself. Now here's a salamander. And they have a life cycle similar to a frog where they look like a tadpole and they grow and they come out of the water and live on the land. So, and then here's a newt. Look, he's a newt. He looks like a lizard, but he's not. He lives near the water, okay? Lizards like to live near hot, dry places. But, so amphibians. These are amphibians. Now, the next kind we're gonna talk about are birds. And I know you know what birds are, but the characteristics of a bird are feathers, they have a beak, they lay eggs. So here, and boys and girls, here's the eagle. If you've been watching, I sent a link a while back about is raptor source. You can see that they have a camera and it watches the eagles as the, the eaglets, which are baby eagles, they're hatched and they're living and the mom's feeding them fish and snakes and rats and things like that. Um, but you can go and watch them live. So an eagle is a kind of bird. Now these are called talons. See his talons, that's what he hunts with. They are very sharp at the bottom. And then this is called a blue macaw, blue and yellow macaw. How pretty is he? He has feathers, he lays eggs, 
Now this one, oh yeah, that's a penguin. Did you know penguins don't fly? Most birds fly, but not a penguin. He doesn't fly, but he is a bird. And this one doesn't fly either. An ostrich, ah, an ostrich. But do you know what? He has strong legs and if, it, if something bothers him, he's going to kick it. He can't fly because he's too heavy. He's a big bird. He's probably tall as I am, maybe taller, probably much taller than I am. So but he has feathers and a beak. All right, and here's a turkey, turkey. So birds have feathers, they lay eggs, and most birds fly. Not all, but most, okay? So we have our four groups of animals, mammals, reptiles, um, amphibians, and birds, okay? So, um, I want you to go outside and find some of these kind of these animals. Draw pictures for me and have mom send the pictures to me. Show me what you know as a bird or a mammal or a reptile or an amphibian. Okay? All right. Hope you enjoyed. Miss you. See you later. Bye.